Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Monday, October 19th, 2015. Thank you all for tuning in. We're going to start the day off with the S&P 500 E-mini futures. You're going to see that the futures really have rolled over sharply here from the overnight lows. Right now, they are trading down about eight and a quarter points to 2017 and a quarter per contract. So this is a pretty good little rollover in the market. Market will start the day, it looks like, on the weaker side. But lately, the market has been somewhat resilient, and that has to be respected. All right, let's get to some stocks in the news, and we'll see what this is really all about. First off the bat, we have Morgan Stanley Earnings. And Morgan Stanley, the big bank out today, and you can see here, stock is getting hammered to the downside. Right now, it's trading at $31.95, closed at $33.95. So Morgan Stanley selling off pretty sharply. And when you look at a stock like this, it carries a lot of weight in the broker-dealer department. So just all in all, Morgan Stanley is down sharply. I'm looking for a level here. I don't really see anything that looks all that attractive. I will say this, though, around 27 and a quarter. You will have a little bit of, of support, so keep that on the radar. If it does fall, I'll try to have some more levels ready for everybody in the intraday stock chat room before the opening bell rings at 9 a.m. Next stock we're going to talk about quickly here is PMCS, which is PMC Sierra. So it looks like the stock is being bought out by Micro Semi. Um, so don't do anything. If you own it, congratulations. If you don't own it, leave it alone. But it looks like the stock is trading higher from where it closed at 1024 on Friday, and I believe right now it is being trying to be bought out by Micro Semi, so you're getting another dollar and a quarter pop out of this thing. So PMCS is uh, trading higher again. Let's take a look at Valiant. VRX is the ticker symbol here. Uh, looks like they had earnings as well. Stock closed at $177.56, now trading at $174. Did briefly trade below $168, but um, has recovered a little bit there. I'm not seeing a whole lot of downside here unless these lows are breached. If these lows are breached, we'll go back to the drawing board. We'll find some new levels of support to play this. But right now, I'm just not seeing a whole lot of downside, at least at the moment. We'll see how it plays out once the opening bell rings. Next up, we're going to talk about Halliburton. Looks like they reported earnings as well. On Friday, the stock closed at 37.81. You can see here it's trading at 37.65. So no big reaction. But a level I would watch for Halliburton, should it sell off today, would be around $33.20. If it gets down there, I think that <clears throat> you do have a tradable bounce area. But if it doesn't get there, I would just leave it alone. Next up on the radar today, we're going to look at Weight Watchers. It looks like Oprah Winfrey has taken a big stake in the company. You could read all about the details. Any way you slice it or dice it, though, this stock is popping higher. So right now, the stock is trading at $13.22. It closed at $6.79. So Oprah Winfrey is involved. She owns a big stake in the stock, and the stock is reacting in a big, big way. I'm showing mathematically right off the bat the stock has resistance at 1560. So keep that on the radar. I'm not sure it even gets there, but 1560 is a level I would watch for major resistance right around that area. So keep that on the radar today. But that is a huge move for Weight Watchers. That stock is definitely on the move today. So we'll see how it plays out. But it looks like Oprah Winfrey took a big stake in the company. She has the right to buy more shares down the road. And uh, the stock is reacting very, very positive to that news. But watch that level, $15.60. It should be excellent resistance zone. Let's take a look at Freeport McMoran this morning. All of these metal and mining stocks are taking a hit today. Uh, you do have Freeport trading at 12.11, closed at 12.44. BHP Billington. Uh, Closing right now, trading, I should say, at 35.18, closed at 36.06. TCK, this is Tech Resources, trading down at 6.32, closed at 6.48. And then you have Rio Tinto, this is another big one out of Australia. Stock is trading at 37.83, closed at 38.37. So all the metal and mining names are down today. Keep that on the radar. There could be plays there once the opening bell rings. Once again, if you want to come over, take a seven-day free trial with us, you could trade right alongside of us. We've had a great, great 2015, and we're going to look to keep that going again today. Looks like uh, we do have oil futures down about five and a half points to $1,177 an ounce. Looks like gold futures are down about, uh, excuse me, oil futures are down about a dollar 
trading at around $46.78 a barrel. So if you take a look at the USO today, you will see that is trading below the $15 level now. So oil is getting hit a little bit this morning, and we'll see how that plays out and see if it affects many of the energy stocks out here. So be a little bit careful here. This is definitely... Um, a market with some volatility, at least at the start of the session. It looks like futures have dipped. They're down now down 9.5 points. So, again, we are seeing some uh, the market off to a rocky start here on this Monday. And um, we'll see where we go from here. With that being said, I want to wish you all a great trading day. And once again, come on over. Take a seven-day free trial. You can trade right alongside of us. And you could do everything that we're doing in real time. And you can see our screens live. It's, it's a fantastic program. Take a seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat, and you'll see what it's all about. With that being said, everybody, have a great trading day, and we'll see you on the charts.